good evening everyone uh, and welcome to the class uh, discussing further on the equity valuation model so yesterday uh, while talking about the equity uh, valuation model yesterday we did the problems uh, based on two stage uh, growth rate model so two stage growth rate model uh, where the, the the time period of rate uh, we call that time period uh, we call that time period as as the super normal time period and then we have a constant time period so we have discussed uh, about them uh, in the previous class and we we, we did problem uh, on two stage growth rate model now uh, and the formula also for that now for today class we will talk about three stage growth rate model so in case if three stage growth rate model is given then so again uh, my my uh, ideal suggestion for you would be whenever you get the problem my ideal suggestion would be always uh, do step by step calculation you should not get confused from the from the ideal calculation if you need shortcut formula you can use the shortcut formula to get the answer but the ideal strategy from my end would be to do it by step by step that only will make more sense the other with this three stage growth rate model so if you get a three stage growth rate model you can see the year you can write down the year so so for, for how many years you have uh, like super growth rate so you can see that that it is going to have a growth rate g1 i can say g1 is equal to 15% per annum uh, for 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 from first year to third year so you can see this the data is given currently paying a dividend of, of 2 rupees per share the dividend is expected the dividend is expected to grow at 15% per annum for the next 3 years from 1 to 2 years and then uh, then you have g2 uh, which is for 10% per annum then that is 10% per annum uh, for the next 3 years means from 4th year 5th year and 6th year therefore that is for the next 3 year and then uh, you have g3 so thereafter, it is expected to grow at 5% per annum forever. Then, then it is going to grow at 5% from 7th year to infinity. So from 7th year to infinity, from 7th year to infinity, uh, it will grow uh, at 5% per annum. Okay, so what you can do uh, to solve the problem, what you can do to solve the problem. So again, see from 7th year to infinity, so from seventh year, from seventh year to infinity. So what I can do? So the I can find the price of the share. So the price of from seventh year to infinity. So I can try. I can find the price of the share uh, at the end of sixth year. At the at the end of sixth year, I can find the price of share of at the end of sixth year. So for that, the price of the share would be the dividend for the seventh year divide by ke minus g3 because the constant growth rate is g3 so with that formula you can find the price of share from seventh year to infinity so whenever you have so whenever you have constant growth rate model so whenever you have constant growth rate model so whenever you have constant growth rate model so you know that at a constant dividend growth rate model you know the formula constant dividend uh, growth rate model you know the formula constant dividend growth rate model you know the formula that p1 is sorry p not p not is equal to div1 divided by ke minus g the same logic you can use here so the price at the end of sixth year that is equal to div1 uh, divided by ke minus g3 so dividend at the end of sixth year you can find how to find the dividend that is very easy uh, basic formula of compounding dividend for zero year into one plus g1 it has grown for three year then one plus g2 that it has grown for the three year and then seventh year would be one plus g3 so that will give you the dividend for the seventh year divided by g minus g3 so this will give you the price of the share at the end of sixth year this will give you the price of the share at the end of sixth year. Basic mathematics. So with this formula, you get the price of the share at the end of the sixth year. So 
So once you get this price of share at the end of sixth year, so what you can do, you can find the present price of the share. So you know that price of the share at the end of sixth year is, is, is equal to price of share, current price of share into one plus cost of equity to the power six. So I can find the present price of the share that is equal to price of the share for the sixth year divided by one plus T to the power six. So the price of share at the end of sixth year, that is nothing but DIV naught into one plus G1 to the power three, one plus G2 to the power three into one plus G3 divided by one plus T to the power six into K minus G3. So with this, I can find the price of the share, initial price of the share. Okay, so this, this I can apply from seventh year to infinity. So to find the initial price of the share from seventh year to infinity, I can do this. I can do this to find the present price of the share from seventh year to infinity. While for the first six years, it is going at super normal growth rate 15 and and 10%. So for the first six years, it is growing at the super normal growth rate of 16 and 10%. So you can do the individual valuation for them to get that value. Okay, so you can do the individual valuation to get that value. You can do that part. Okay. So that that is again again I'm telling you. So you can from first year to sixth year, you can write down year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six. You can you can the future value. You can write down the future value here. The future value. You're getting future value. You're getting future value as a dividend. You're getting future value as a dividend. You're getting future value as your dividend. So that is what you're getting as a future value. And you, you what is your discounting factor? What is your discounting factor? The discounting factor here is the cost of equity. Discounting factor is the cost of equity. So here, what is your discounting factor? Discounting factor is the cost of equity. So with that, you can find the present value. You can find the present value. So you can find the present value. So that is what, what is required for you. So for, for the initial six years, if you can find that, uh, so your work will be done. Like if I want the dividend for the second year, if I want the dividend for the second year, so the dividend for the second year, that will be the current dividend into one plus growth rate to the power. Or you can write dividend for the second year is equal to dividend for the first year into one plus G. And any way you do, you'll get the same answer. I hope you're, you're getting the logic. You're getting the logic so that you can solve very easily. So very important, whenever you get the problem, I told you, see this dividend value. This is very important. So here, is this a current dividend or next year dividend? If, if certain time in the problem, it is written next year dividend. Certain time the problem is given next year dividend. So next year dividend means dividend at the end of first year. So be very careful on that part. So, so you, can, you know that future value dividend. So you know that this is two. This is two current dividend into one plus at what rate this is growing? At what rate it's growing? For the first three years is growing at 15%. Okay, so it is growing at 15%. So if you want, so you can fix this. It is growing at what rate? It's growing at the rate of 15%. So that second year, third year I can find. Okay, so then from fourth year, for, for the first three years, it is growing at the 15%. Then from the fourth year, then from the fourth year, it is growing at 10%. So it is growing at 10%. Then from the fourth year, it is growing at the 10%. So for the fourth year, it is growing at 10%. Okay. So from fourth year, it is growing at 10%. And then fifth year, every year is growing at 10%. So 
find a future value of dividend. Once you find the future value of dividend, uh, you can take discounting factor. Uh, what is the discounting factor? Uh, you can see the capitalization rate nine percent. So discounting factor is nine percent. So 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 the present value of this will be what future value divide by you can do with calculator. Or by this time, you people are doing so much practice. You can do it very easily by use. So you can find the present value of all this. Now, what is the sum of present value of dividend? So for super normal growth rate, for super normal, for super normal growth. So you can do the sum. This sum. This is the this is the value. This is the value what you get. So either you do with calculator if you want. We can do one by one. So one by one we can do this calculation by using calculator or or by now by this time. I believe by this time you have understood how to solve this question. So I'm doing it directly to make you understand this part. So why to waste time doing step by step every calculation? Okay, uh, so you can easily understand that part. Then uh, problem happens because the 60 year dividend, so like 70 year dividend would be what? So if I talk about 70 year dividend, the dividend dividend at the end of 70 year. What is the dividend for the 70 year? That is the dividend for the sixth year into one plus growth rate. So you can see the dividend for the seventh year. So the dividend for the sixth year is 4.0485. That is 4.0485 into one plus. What is the growth rate? So what is the growth rate? You can see your growth rate is like five percent. After that, this is five percent. So this is the dividend for the seventh year. That is four point. 0485 into 1.05. So, what is that value? That, that is the dividend for the seventh year. So the dividend uh, for the for the seventh year that is 4.0485 into 1.05. That is 4.250925. So this is the dividend for the seventh year. So once you get the dividend for the seventh year, once you get the dividend for the seventh year, I can find the price of the share, price of share, or to say present price of share, present price of share, I can find the present price of share under constant growth rate model, under constant growth rate model, same formula under constant Rate model, I can find the price of share that is nothing but dividend for the seventh year divided by T minus G3 1 plus e to the power 6. So, dividend for the seventh year I got that is 4.250925 divided by K. What is K? Cost of equity 9%. 9% minus what is your growth rate? Growth rate is 5%, constant growth rate into 1 plus k means 1.09 to the power 6. So I can solve this. So if I solve this, so if I solve this, this is divide by, divide by, divide by 1.09 to the power 6. So you get this uh, divide by 0.04. So this is 63 point, this is 63.367192, 63.367192, everyone just check it, everyone check this. So this is the present price of share under constant dividend growth rate model, you get this at the present price of the share 63.367192.
So you get this value. Okay, so I hope everyone please check this. So once you get this value, so already uh, under super normal growth rate, you have found this value 13.36181. And, uh, and then I can say that sum of present value of dividend, sum of present value of dividend. So for super constant growth rate model, for constant growth rate model for that. The price of share that is how much so this this is how much this you got a 63.3671 63 63.367192 you got this now what is the price of share so the price of share you want the price of share that is the sum of these two do the sum That is 77 point. This is the price of the share. So this is the value what you get. So this manually, I did this part manually, this part I did manually, this part I did manually. So this part I got 63 point something. What 63 point, this part we did manually, 63.367192. This part we did manually. The same what is the value we got we, we substitute it here. Okay, everyone. So you can do any way, uh, you will get the same answer. If you want a direct formula, so, so I told you yesterday that under under two stage growth rate model, under two stage growth rate model, under two stage, under two stage uh, growth rate model. So, So under two stage growth rate model, so under two stage growth rate model, so I told you the formula that the price of share, that the price of share uh, is equal to DIV not one plus G1 divided by C minus G1 into one minus one plus G1 divided by one plus K to the power n plus this is the formula what we discussed plus div not into 1 plus g1 to the power n into 1 plus g2 1 plus g2 
डिवाइड बाई के माइनस जी टू वन प्लस के टू दावर एच दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वॉट आई टोल्ड यू अंडर टू स्टेज ग्रोथ रेड मॉडल आई होप यू रिमेम्बर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वॉट वी डिस्कस दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वॉट वी डिस्कस अंडर अंडर टू स्टेज ग्रोथ रेड मॉडल दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वॉट वी डिस्कस ओके नाउ now the problem what we are doing is the three stage so under three stage growth rate model under three stage growth rate model so under three stage growth rate model when i am using the so the price of the share so the price of the share what we look for under the three stage growth rate model if you want to use now this problem is a three stage growth rate model you can see this This problem is a three-stage growth rate model. You can see three growth rates are given in this problem. So you can see so because three growth rates are given in this problem, so you have to use three-stage a growth rate formula. So under uh, three-stage growth rate model, under three-stage growth rate model, if you want to solve, so the formula would be D I V not into one plus G one divided by K minus G one into one minus one plus G one by one plus K to the power n plus D I V not into one plus G one to the power n one into one plus G two divided by K e minus G two into One plus e to the power n one. What is n one? What is n two? I'll explain you. Okay, here this is n one. Okay, so k e minus g two to one plus k. E, this is one minus one plus g two divided by one plus e to the power n two minus n one. N two minus n one hmm. plus plus e i v not plus e i v not into one plus g one to the power n one into one plus g two to the power n two minus n one into one plus g three divided by k e minus g three into one plus k e to the power n two so this is the formula under three stage growth rate model if you want to use this is your formula this is your formula under three stage growth rate model so this is the formula this current problem what we are doing so the current problem you can do with this formula the current problem what we are doing you can do with this formula so this is the formula under three stage growth rate model You can solve the question by this formula. Everyone, please write down this this formula. so if you see uh, if you see the current problem so this problem what we are discussing so if you see this problem so if you see this problem so so in if you see this current problem so what we are doing so you can see the dividend you can see the the dividend is dividend is div not dividend is given to you 2 rupees okay and g1 g1 is 15% per annum 
and you see the n1 n1 is 3 here okay this is n1 3 here okay then uh, then g2 g2 is 10 percent per annum and n2 n2 means for next three year so n2 is six year so for next three years so n2 minus n1 that is three year for the fourth year to sixth year i hope you got the logic and g3 g3 is five percent the constant growth rate model that is five percent okay and your cost of equity is nine percent per annum if you don't like to solve step by step, if you can do step by step, very good. If you can do step by step, then no problem. There's no problem. But if you can't do step by step, you don't love mathematics. So then you, you just memorize this formula and you solve it by that, you'll get the answer very easily. So this is basically three stage growth rate model, three stage equity valuation model. So three stage equity valuation model. So, so under three stage equity valuation model, so again I'll write down the formula in case it is missed. GIV not one plus G1 divided by K minus G1 into one minus one plus G1 divided by one plus K to the power N1. This is plus DIV not into one plus G1 to the power N1 into plus G2 divided by 2 for N1 into 1 plus G2 divided by 1 plus K to the power N1 into K minus G2 into, into 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus G2 divided by 1 plus K to the power N2 minus N1 plus DIV naught plus DIV naught into 1 plus G1 to the power N1 into 1 plus G2 to the power N2 minus N1 into 1 plus G3 divided by K minus G3 into 1 plus K to the power N2. So this is the formula. So if you don't like to do step by step, so I have derived this formula for you. So that in exam, you don't have to remember the steps. You can either do by step by step or you just use this formula, you get the answer. DIV not is 2. 1 plus G1, 1 plus G1 means 15%, K is 9%, 9 minus 15%, okay, that is 1 minus 1 plus 15%, 15% is 1.15 divided by 1.09 to the power N1, N1 is 3 here, plus TIV naught is 2, 1.15 to the power 3 into 1.10 divide by uh, k that is 1.09 to the power n1 n1 is 3 k minus g2 k is 9 percent minus 10 percent hmm. into 1 minus 1 plus 10 percent divide by 1 divide by 1.09 means 1 plus 9 percent to the power 3 hmm plus div naught is 2 rupees into 1.15 to the power 3 into 1.10 to the power 3 1.05 divided by 9% minus 5% into 1.09 to the power 6. So we just need to solve this and we get the price of the shear. So you, do, you, you get the price of shear. So we need to do this calculation. So if you use calculator, one minute. So 2 into 1.15, that is 2.5, 2.3, divide by 
9 minus 15 is 6 percent no? divide by 0 0.06 divide by 0 0.06 so that you get is minus 38.3333. So this is 1 minus, now this is 1.15 divided by so 1 point, so 1, so you can do in bracket, in bracket 1 minus, okay, so, hmm. 1.15 uh, divide by 1.09 divide by 1.09 uh, to the power 3 to the power 3 that you will get is 1.1.174 something this uh, so this is 2 into 2 into uh, 1.15 to the power 3 uh, into into 1.1 this much this is your new that is 3.345925 divide by uh, divide by 1.09 1.09 to the power 3 so you will get is 1.295029 this is this is what 1% minus 1% minus 1% so 10 minus 9 is 1% so this is 2.2 into 1.15 to the power 3. 3.3459 correct. So this into 1 minus this is what? So this is uh, 1.1 1 .1 divided by 1.09 to the 2 cube. This is one point zero two zero triple seven zero triple seven six two something plus so plus this how much you getting this? This is two uh, into one point zero five two into one point zero five into 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 2 into 1.05 into uh, 1.1 cube into 1.15 cube. So this is 4.4.25097. 4 divide by this is 4 percent. This is 4 percent. I can do it one time only. Why to waste time steps? So, so this is four percent. This is four percent into nine minus five is four. So into that one point zero nine one point zero nine to the power six. What you are getting? Multiply that with four percent. So you will get is point. 067.067084 so so if you solve this so this is now how you can what you do subtract you get minus into minus plus so so 1 minus 1. 1.174393 1, 1.174 1.174394 uh, this into if you into this with minus 38.3333333 so you are getting this as 6.6.5 6 
So you can see this 6.6851. So this, if you do the sum of this much, you'll get this only. If you see the sum of this much, see the sum of this much, if I do, you'll get this only. 6.6851, see this. So I hope you're understanding. This is for the first three, for the first three. So that 15 percent thing, this is a present value, 6.6851. So how I got this? So to get this value, how I got this value? So to get this value, so we use that formula that div not into one plus g one divide by k e minus g one into one minus one plus g one by one plus k e the power n one. That gives us this value. Okay, I hope you are understanding this part. Then plus, so plus you can solve this. So now if you solve this, so you this this is three point three four. Uh, this is three point three four five nine two five. If you divide this with one point two nine five zero. Two nine, you get two point five eight three six six. Again, if I divide it by with point zero one, so I get minus. I'm getting this as minus two fifty eight point three six eight. This when you sub, this will be minus point zero two seven 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 six two. You can understand minus into minus plus. In this value. This value what you get? This is four. No? So this value you will get is four point two five zero nine nine divided by point zero six seven zero eight four. So if you do, you will get sixty three point three six eight one six five two sixty three point three six eight one six five two. The so same thing. You can see this. You can see this. Same thing, which you got already before. And so this we got, this we got by the formula that was div not into one plus g one to the power n one into one plus g two to the power n two minus n one into one plus g three divided by k e minus g three into one plus k e to the power n two. Right. So, so now this now the price of share is equal to now the price of share is six point six eight five one plus. So now you multiply them minus into minus you get plus. That is two fifty eight point three six six eight into point zero two seven seven triple seven six two. So you'll get a seven point seven one seven seven point one seven six four four seven nine plus sixty three point three six eight one six five. So once you get this value, now if you add this value with the remaining value sixty three point three six eight one six five plus plus six point Six eight five one. So we'll get the value. So if you add them, we'll get the value called seventy seven point two two nine seven one. That's the same thing. Seventy seventy seven point two two nine two one. The same thing what we got. Clear, everyone. Anyone any doubt? You can see this seven point seven one six four five. You can see the same thing here. 
either you can do one by one either you can do manually one by one or there's a formula is there for that you use that formula you will get the answer clear everyone so for this also i told you the formula for this also i told you the formula so for this also i told you the formula the formula for this which i told you the formula for this i told you was div not in 1 plus g1 to the power n1 into 1 plus g2 into 1 plus g2 divide by k minus g2 into 1 plus k to the power n1 into 1 minus 1 plus g2 divide by 1 plus k to the power n2 minus n1 fine so so any way you will do you will get the same answer the the purpose of telling you the purpose of doing all this hard work is to tell you the part that you do anyhow you gonna get the same answer clear anyone any doubt Anyone, any doubt? Any question you want to ask anyone? Any doubt, anyone? 